Hello, welcome back to another video. Because my amulet short and my amulet book analysis thing video has done so well, I'm going to feed the audience, my audience, with more amulet content. Okay, so get ready for this banger video right here. No. Yeah, I, I think my dad should, like, not. Um, anyway, so today in today's video, we're just ranking all the amulet books from worst to best, in my opinion. Make sure you leave your rankings in the comments down below. Okay, I don't have the third book at my house, but I have read the third book. But honestly, I'm going to say that the worst, in my opinion, the worst book is is this. Amulet book four is, uh, I don't know. This book is the most, like, I can only, I only, I only read this book twice and I got bored of it. Um, and in some ways I don't see a necessity for this book exactly, but it's pretty good. You see, if I were to rank a large series of books. I wouldn't, I would never put this book in like a C tier. I would always put it in at least a B tier. So this book is okay. It's not horrible. It's just okay, but it's also the worst amulet book. Um, next we have, um, uh, honestly, I don't know. I'm trying to think. So I think I'm split between well, no, I'm going to say Escape from Lucene, yeah. I didn't really think the list through. I'm thinking it off the top of my head right now, but uh, this is close with Prince of the Elves or the fifth book. Uh, Escape from Lucene is kind of... Uh, I don't know. I just... I don't really... It's, it's <laughs> Max dies... More Max backstory. It's really the Max the Max character saga for five and six. I think that's its name. I keep forgetting. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I love how the context is given and the world building is much bigger in this book. That's a good feature of it. But some of the Max storyline in this book kind of gets me. I just don't really like it as much he dies and then he dies so by book seven it's like max is max and he's just a character next we have um actually i'm gonna say book two uh because this is the first amulet book i read but upon rereading it it's not like great <laughs> Uh, compared to the books on this list that are higher. Um, I think it's a good sequel to the first book, but and it introduces a lot for the series to build off of. Uh, that's pretty good. But overall, for a story, I can tell that Kazu Kibuishi really improved when he wrote these books ahead. Uh, next, we have... Um, I think I'm going to put Prince of the Elves... And it's going to tie with book one. So Prince of the Elves is another Max story. And I like the beginning of this book. And the ending was okay. Uh, I thought it was interesting with this trellis scene. Um, I like this book because it gives, like, the story of, like, Trellis and his brother and their relationship with uh, their uncle and, you know, the Elf King. This is all pretty interesting and good. And... <laughs> Uh, I feel like, though, as the series actually develops, a lot of things in books five and six are kind of let go. So I'm going to put this here. Um, next, well, actually, the book after book five is book three. So it's not really tying with book one. Okay, so so far it's book four, book six, book two, book five. And now I don't have book three, but pretend my hand is book three, okay? Okay. 
<laughs> book three, The Cloud Searchers, is literally a fill-in book, honestly. Uh, the whole point of it is just to search for that city. Um, I'm forgetting the amulet lore today. 